na na dia me se ese wani na ese o ka kire ye nya ni pakase e oba papa bi oba tuntum se yo papa bi ana ne wo se o ba djuma dia iso na no so wo be kan isu ehu no na o dia xeme no mi no ye ukrain afei ami be yi onyi mo nyamfo a ene wo be sra me fi dia mu ha se oni me be che ne bra mu su ehu no na wo dia xe ye nyina ye ukrain na ye su di bia tu ye hu fu ne dia ho ye bra ama ye nyamfo so papa en so dia firi mu ene ye tra ye ye ni aba mi aba ma na wo hwe ye me nya mama ga Ameto, who was the second grandmother, and as a paramount grandmother, the overlord, grandmother of Alabanyo traditional area, and na na i o hima i o hima kesi e, and na wabe sramia o ni me be tshe o bremu shiuno na mi ni aba onso wa shiabi na o diabo o bre na na. I'm a top the second. Paramount Queen Mother Papa B. Oh, him out to tomb see you. And ne, you more papa. And the bar of Bremsia will do my days. Nana, you're welcome. Thank you. Nana, let me ask you. Yeah, yeah, a lot of adverts. Yeah, yeah, just say, yeah, sell. When you say one can say, oh, yeah, only packets, yeah, that. And so, Papa TV, Lily M. Any of Bremo Shim, who do my dear? Yet the work is a yaton one mamma signed down a honey via self and any in a da. Ama will be a per washer, and will do my dear wood dear, and will Bremo Shim when I yard home. So today, I welcome you officially to the Bremo Shim show. Let me ask you somebody will ask, who is Mama Ga Ameto, the second? Would you please share your life story with us? Yeah, with us. Mo. Thank you so much for the chance of giving me this video. Mo. Yeah, my name is Omaga Amit. That's public life. By private name, I'm Barbara Peace Atiboli. Barbara. Barbara. Peace Atiboli. Beautiful. That's my private name. Okay. Public. Omaga Amit. Kobuju the second. Kobuju the second. Mm -hmm. um, I was born in Namankara in Togo. Wow. Where I started my primary mm -hmm. elementary schools. Mm -hmm. And then due to some challenging with my parents, I decided to come back to Ghana. Mm -hmm. Where my mother is from Royal family in Togo. Mm -hmm. And my dad's from Royal family from Alabani. Okay. So we came back to Togo. Mm -hmm. Where there's a need for me to go back to school. Okay. But I cannot school the cell because I'm from Togo direct. I cannot come to the secondary school. Wow. Because of the French and uh, accent. Because of the English side. Mm. So I said, okay. Since my motto is never lose school, okay. I started to go to technical school mm. where I did the painting and decoration. Mm. With the technical institute. Mm. After the painting and decoration, I realized that no, that's not my field. Mm -hmm. So I decided to do accounting. Again, it's a Pandora High School. Okay. I completed Pandora High School. There's a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. No one to see me through to Poltech mm -hmm. or to any school. So I decided to join a, a business. Okay. So I do buy this uh, Kobe or fish, tilapia, mm -hmm. anything that is mm -hmm. sellable. Across Togo uh, border or to offices in Go. That's the easiest way for me to mm. go because that's my region. Okay. I did all kind of things just to get money to mm. see myself through in education. Okay. So finally I decided to write this mature student exam. Mm. That's in two thousand. Mm. Then low and below, yes, I was choosing to case investing. Where I did my banking and finance in the BSc, mm. and got so good on my side, and I successfully got a second degree upper. Mm. Looking for a job for everywhere, nowhere to get job. So I started to go to my own business where I started my production business, mm. for hand liquor and then soft drinks, wines, and I used some of the wine, bottle it 
and but they should bottle it mm. in different big tests, if a different kind of medicine it helps. Mm. Sustaining me for past six years. Mm. Then I said, one day I said, no, this is um, something that's missing somewhere in my life. Mm. I need to be somewhere because when I was a kid, I was saying that I want to be moving from country to country. Mm. And then here yeah, I am, sitting at one place and uh, doing this and I don't like it. Okay. So I decided to apply for EPS mm. and field leadership mm. because my position also need a lot of mm. so they're thinking and then changes. So I applied to EPS too and then we also called me for the end field which was successfully mm. came out. Wow. Yeah, to become a queen mother in mm. 2006 mm. Uh, I went to Alabama mm. then I heard some elderly people saying that they want to make my father a catechist. Wow. I said, how can because my father has not stayed in this village mm. how can we be a catechist? So I started to ask my peers. Mm. I said, no, it's not true. Mm-hmm. So the queen mother issue is pending. Mm. Maybe it's me or my dinner sister. Mm. I look at all things I don't know if I can do it because it's a oh. lefty. Okay. So I was on the run. One day, then my uncle called me that day. Uh, I need to come to the village for emergency issue. Mm. And I said, okay. Before I realized, uh, they poured the powder on me. Wow. <laughs> then they captured me in the room. Wow. Started the rituals and then mm. the preaching towards the coronation day. Mm. That's how I found myself now as a queen mother. Paramount Krimoda for mm-hmm. a very famous traditional council. Wow. It's not easy. Mm-hmm. But God's so good. Mm-hmm. I'm able to mm-hmm. live for 50 years now. Wow. Wow. 15 years. Hey, Nana. Do you've reigned for 15 good years as a yes. queen mother. As a queen mother. It's amazing. Now, what means I'm paying Shebioka Craig? You made mention, sir. You were you were born in Togo. Amankara in Togo. Amankara yeah. in Togo. Where Yadema is coming from, the ex president of Togo. Uh, where is coming from. Where Yadema yeah. is coming from. Yeah. But you are not a Togolese. No, I'm a Ghanaian. 100 percent That why was it that you were you were you were I mean discriminated? You told me yeah. that they didn't even allow you to I mean uh, uh, go to school at that time. What happened was that uh, because uh, mm-hmm. the greener pass, uh, my parents migrated to me. Okay. So I was born there, school up to DSS. Okay. And then you know the system in Ghana here. Yeah. And the Togo is different from Ghana here. Okay. So you have to become as a foreign student. Okay. You need to and that go to a lot of things. Okay. That is why the reason I don't go to secondary school here. Okay. You have to go to technical school. Okay. So so all this while, where were your parents? Were they? Were they also in Ghana? Did they also come here with you? No, they were in Togo. What happened was that, you mm-hmm. know, as tradition goes, mm-hmm. if something is yours, it's yours. Okay. If something belongs to you, it belongs to you. Okay. Why were there? A lot of things happen. Mm-hmm. Sickness, myself, at times, I see myself as a different place. Mm-hmm. So I was asking them, Papa, why can't we go to the village? Okay. He said, the time can we go. Okay. So when the very father was there, after we joined the very father's car, to mm-hmm. Then the first time to know my village, mm-hmm. the father took me Hawaii. Then I decided mm-hmm. to ask my grandmother, mm-hmm. who said it's not far from Hawaii. I okay. decided to go and visit my grandfather. Okay. That's how come I didn't know the village. Okay. And then after that, I felt like I'm released from something. So it means at that time you had never stepped foot here in Ghana. No, you had that's never been here time. before. That's the first time. And you took the step, you took the challenge to come and yeah. even study here. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. It was a very bold decision to, to, to take up that yes. challenge. Yes. As a did, kid. As a kid. And and you, you, you made mention that at that time your mother, your parents didn't come with you. No. So who took you in? The real father who was the Khalid president over there. Okay. He was coming to Ghana as a Ghanaian. He was coming to Ghana, so I hide in his car. So, so when we get to the border, the police were taking them. They said, ah, it's a woman being here trafficking anymore. Those days, trafficking issue was not common. <laughs> And I said, no, no, it's not, it's not true in, in our local dialect. Okay. It's not true. Okay. I, I hear, it's not aware that I'm hiding here. I'm going to my grandmother. Okay. Then everybody was saying, yes, this lady is a master man, so they know her at the church. I see. That's the Catholic priest. Otherwise, okay. they were arrested for child trafficking. So it means that time the Catholic 
the, the priest himself didn't know you were no. in his car. No. You took that boat yes. decision yes. to hide in his car yes. just to come to Ghana. Yes. Amazing. That was beautiful. And then when you came, I've, I've, I realized that you went through a lot of challenges. I mean, but with what I've, 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 I've heard, you, you, you didn't give up. You mm. even went to the scene of selling Kobe. Yes. You sold tilapia, tilapia and all those uh, stuff to make it to this extent. Mm. It was amazing. We were here for Nana Hema Mamaga, or your paramount queen mother of Alavanyo traditional area. In fact, the overlord of Alavanyo traditional area. Today she's here to share her story with us. I'm very grateful to have her in our mess today. It's, 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 I wouldn't say it's unfortunate, but she's speaking English. And today we are all going to do our best to be with, with her, to speak English. But then we'll be trying to, I mean, blend the two or do some translations here and there for all our listeners to be part of this. Just as you are saying, you've sold Kobe before, you've sold tilapia here and there. And what else have you sold? So, uh, you've made soap, materials, brazier, panties, tea, everything. Just say everything. everything that come on my way will make me money. That will get you money. You don't joke with it. No. So you, you are you are you are a, a tough woman, a str somebody who struggles a lot. Yes. I can feel that you are a very strong, well-powered queen mother sure. who is hard working. No, no, no. Let's go to the next question. I would love you to talk about. You know, it's like you just said. Life is not uh, an easy journey. Mm. We have our, we have challenges here and there, as I said earlier, as you've also even mentioned. You didn't take life easy. You even had to, at a point, hide yourself in a car to get to Ghana to seek, you know, greener pastures, out, so to say, mm. to struggle through life, you know. But at a point, you became a queen mother, sure. which you said you were caught in, in the process, and you were. That before you realized they were pouring powder here and there on you, all over your body was filled with powder, all because they wanted you to be their queen mother. I believe that it wasn't easy. It wasn't something that was so easy that you've reigned for 15 good years and you, you, you got everything on silver platter. I'm sure you've had challenges. I'm sure viewers would want to know. There are others who would also become queen mothers like you. Who would want to, I mean, to learn a lot from you? Your challenges, your joys, your happiness, your sorrows, and everything about you. So, may I know, what have been your challenges? And how were you able to overcome them? Yeah, thank you so much for this. Thank question. you very much, Nana. Yeah, when I was making a paramount queen mother, I know that I was in secondary school, second year, and then first semester when the thing happened. And as a secondary school first year, I mean, what can I do to help my baby? So I think it from there. You know, Alabama is very, uh, it's popular, the famous town, everybody, the whole world knows about it. Mm -hmm. our, our issues with our neighbors, the conflict and the, all those things. The, the reasoning side and thinking side of the community, you, you know, read about it already. Mm -hmm. So how am I going to help this community to get out from this issue? What am I going to do to help them? What am I going to do to reduce this tension? And a lot of ideas were coming up. Mm -hmm. By that time, who am I? I'm just a person that they give me one city to go to school or one city mm -hmm. to eat. Mm -hmm. What should I do? Mm -hmm. So one day I slept and then I was just thinking about the world. I cannot be so. So I wake up and I started walking on the street in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Then something just came to my mind. I was standing at the where the traffic light, now it's a traffic light there. Those days it was a very big tree there. Just sitting on the under the tree in the night. And I saw one car just speed off. Speed. And another car just speed off. Then people realized there was accident on the way and then the one behind it just passed by. Mm. So I said, ah, what happened? So, so is that life? Mm. So in life, there's no need for us to rush. If you have a good partner, mm. you can achieve what you want. With patience, you can get to what you want. Mm. I started thinking and deliberating within myself. Mm. So that night I couldn't sleep. Mm. 
I got to watch, pick a pen and paper, and I started jotting what I want to do before I get to 50 years. Mm. And then truly, I thank God that day, that night, is helping me to today. Yeah. No, my place uh, is, that's a challenge because of the conflict, of a lack of conflict in my place. Mm. It's not easy to put up the fermenter idea mm. and people just take it for you. Mm. You need to lobby, lobby uh, confuse, mm. call them with uh, some kind of enthusiasm mm. before they come on board. Yeah. So it's not easy to be a criminal driver there because if you said they should not go to bush before you attend for that place, they go in bush fighting. <laughs> And then it's a headache and then problem to meet your ten ten by that you grab a BB. Wow. Because people were calling that, Amanda, where are you? They are fighting in your place, they are shooting in your place. Mm. I don't really know what to do. Wow. Because I don't have full control because the people are already addicted. Let me say addicted to the term. Mm. Because if you are sitting down, somebody wants to come and fight you, you cannot just sit down and try to kill you. Mm. You also don't have to defend. Yeah. So if as a leader I'm telling them no, they should not go. I say if I should not go, they should come and kill us, then you go free, then they will come attack you. Mm. So certain things you need to use a psychological issue to, to get the people, the youth on board mm. to do the whole thing. Yeah. So with that that night, the issue I did that I brought on board that no, you need to get some people then I have uh, what do you call it, a motive or an aim for myself mm. that in life before you succeed, you need to work with three categories of people. Mm -hmm. One, somebody who is older than you. Mm -hmm. Your middle age, mm -hmm. then under your age. Mm -hmm. Why? Because as a youth, my age now, mm -hmm. if I have age mates mm -hmm. and I want to do something right now, I say, Oh, this is what I want to do. Yeah. The person will give you answer mm -hmm. that maybe will become a flame in you. Yeah. And you go and do something happen. Yeah, okay. But when you go to somebody who is older than you, mm -hmm. it will give you wisdom. Yeah. And knowledge. Yes. Somebody who is smaller than mm. your age mm. will give you another thinking mm. area to think about. Yeah. So when you move with these three people, I want to do that. I want to manufacture this water. Mm -hmm. And I said, Kofi, I want to do this. Who is older than me? Mm -hmm. Tell me, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. This three idea, we need to mm -hmm. sleep over it mm -hmm. and see, okay, fine. It's good for me to do it. Yeah. But when you move as a leader, yeah. just to do your will or move with your age peers, yeah. your age group. Yeah. If you don't take time, mm. you, you fall up. Mm. You fall up. You don't do anything. So I always have my motto behind me that mm. even if the iron is very hot, mm. I will still strive. Mm. Mm. So when you put me in a hot zone, mm -hmm. I have to find a way. That's why I have to get another way to pass by and go yeah. and move on. Mm. That's why every laughing, every attack, mm. every pull up, every bite back. Mm. I my issue is that we have to get to the place where I want to get to. Wow. Not just say regardless of the or how be at no matter what the challenge is, no matter how tough the situation is, and you're able to triumph over them yeah. and become a winner. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. But now let me ask you. I've, I've seen queen mothers having issues with the, with the chiefs within the, their communities. Are you sure you have you are you are in in good terms or you are in a very good term with your with your chief? Oh, of course. Are you sure he's not been giving you wahala? No, I'm very good term with my chief because mm. all our aim is development. Mm -hmm. So if we are leaders mm. and then your chief or your you are not in, uh, in a good you are longer head. Mm. As long as what are you going to do? Mm. They are going to trample, they are going to mislead the community. So for us, we are in a very peaceful manner, mm. fighting for one cause. Mm. I see. So there have not been any issues between you and oh, your noble it's, chief? It's, it's, been, it's been in a husband and wife in the house, they do have a, a longer head by the patch. Of course, yeah. For that one, we are very good. We have one family, we have from one client, from one time. So we don't have any trade that is a, give us a interest for development, no. If I really understand her, that means uh, as, as human beings, definitely once in a room or once in a while, we'll, we'll have misunderstandings. But uh, no, that will not stop them from bringing the people together within the community as well as 
uh, bringing progress into their community. Nana, mo medawa say, I said, what kind of media to me, me go to you, pa. That you have three things that you always, you know, you always, uh, you know, hold to heart. That you must have somebody who is older than you as a friend, somebody who is within your age as a friend, and somebody that you are older or below your age as a friend. So that you have different ideas from different angles, angles to make you a good human being that I've taken to heart. And I'm sure my listeners to or my viewers to are also taking this or have taken this to their heart that you must not do it alone. You always need somebody to be there to guide you. I know you as a queen mother, you've said a lot already. But then in everyone's life, there are challenges. Some you can't you, you, you sometimes you get to a stage where you feel that most people feel, oh let me end it all. Some say, oh, no, 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 why me? Others say, no, I don't, I, in fact, I can't understand why this is happening to me. That means every human being goes through one or two challenges as you are going. So, this said, is very important <laughs> that you share your personal life experience. In fact, very emotional life experience that you, you, you went through in life, at a point of your life, that you were able to use your strength and prayer to overcome. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. <laughs> yes. Uh, as I was going, you know, my parents are all uh, farmers. Uh, my, my father is a farmer and my mother is a petty trader. Mm -hmm. And then with my determination, mm -hmm. they cannot help out. That is why I took upon this uh, business doing. You know, when I was a major queen mother, Mm -hmm. No butter region, there's nothing like a royalty or there's nothing like a, mm -hmm. a something to the throne. You mm -hmm. have to fight it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So, one fateful day, I remember very well that I was called to come to Accra. Uh, no money to go, no transport, no vehicle for me to carry me to go. I don't know who to call. Mm. Because in the butter region, the pure mothership is different from Asante region. Okay. So, I was just there thinking, thinking, thinking what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. No idea was coming. Then one faithful evening, I decided to walk on the street. Mm. Then I met this. Uh, normally, I don't have friends, mm. but since that day, I started having friends. Wow! So I met this gentleman, and then he was driving. He stopped the car. Mm. Then I said, uh, "Madam, where are you going?" Mm. So I explained. We speak the tree. I said, "For okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the first. Language I even learned in the tree, so I said, okay. I said, No, pretty lady don't talk like that. And I said, Okay, so what do you want me to talk? Uh -huh. Then I said, No, then I had a voice. Maybe that's your angel. Mm -hmm. So I stopped. Then I said, Okay, how may I help you? Mm -hmm. Then he said, Okay, uh, I'm here for a funeral, but I'm lost. Where am I going? I don't know. Where he is now, he's not doing. Mm -hmm. I said, if I give you the invitation card for the funeral, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. low and below is going to Mkunya. Mm -hmm. They landed in Alabama. Mm -hmm. The conflict between us. Mm -hmm. Why me that time? I don't believe. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh man, you are lost. Mm -hmm. This is Alabama. Then he said, no, I said, oh, no, you are not dead yet. You come down. I'll take you to Mkunya mm -hmm. myself. Okay. So I opened the car door, I sat in the phone, mm -hmm. went to Mkunya. Not get to where everybody was like shocked and surprised. Mm -hmm. And this is a prima that this is a prima that's gonna say, hey, master, so what? What are we fighting for? Mm -hmm. When I came back to my community, it was a hey, girl. Mm -hmm. Why did I go to Kunya? Why did I get the car? A lot of issue. Mm -hmm. But I told them that fine, if we are fighting the people mm -hmm. and somebody is lost, mm -hmm. and as a prima that and as my duty, if the person to that place, if they should kill me and the world should stop, it should mm -hmm. stop. Mm -hmm. But it was not kind for me. Okay. But I said, no, I will not stop. So this thing gave me the courage to start having friends. Okay. And can you believe, I learned that when we were going, mm -hmm. and then we just started chatting. Mm -hmm. So this guy asked me, where are you going tomorrow? And I said, oh, I'll be going to account for a program. Okay. But I'm not sure I will go. They said, oh, how? Mm. I said, I don't have money. Mm. I said, ah, this is like a queen mother, I don't have money. Yeah. I said, please don't go there. This is not the reason I entered the car. So please. Then it's okay, let's see what we do. As we reach in Kunya, then 
he asked his friend, okay. do you know they said, yeah, this is the woman that found him. Then he said, oh, for the boats that I take, even him there, if I can drive, he's giving me his car to go to Accra. Hmm. Wow, I don't even know how to drive at the first time, but I had the confidence. I said, okay, bring the car. And the car was automatic. That's why the car just accelerated, the car was moving. <laughs> so I took the car out. When the car back to Alabama, my people were like, no, why did I do that? Mm-hmm. But I stood up and said, no, you cannot pull me down. My star is above me yet. Okay. So you cannot want to, you cannot block my, my star. So I'm going. Mm. Since then, the, 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 this scheme grants that I have some affiliation with people, mm. and then I'll be giving information to people, I'm like this, I'm like, you know why? It's not so. Mm. If you cannot help me and Amma can help me, why can't you make friends with Amma? Yeah. yeah. At first, I want to become a Kali sister mm. before this female mothership. Mm. So I don't have in mind of marriage or have anything to do with a man in terms of affairs and all those things. Mm. I have a lot of friends who are male. I don't have a female friends. Mm. If I say friend, a person that I can confide in, yes. a person that I can talk to in terms of problem and the needs. Mm. I don't have any lady friend. I have female, male friends. Mm. So people used to say that, hey, they are my boyfriend. Mm. They are this, they are this. Mm. It came to a point and then they said, no, I don't need a queen mothership again. Mm. It, that's what about, take it off. Yeah, I see. But one day when I said with you, I said, no. This is what they are trying to limit your vision. Mm. So don't mind them. Go ahead. Mm. If the people are your boyfriend, why can't they help you and then they stop you for that? Yeah. I believe if you're this is the problem. Find the solution for and solve the problem, not to criticize the person. Yeah. So let me leave them. Yeah. And then where I am today, I can stand and proudly say that it's not because of people of Alabanyo mm. or my family member, it's mm. because of friends. Mm. And mostly mm. the Muslim friends. Mm. So mm. I tell you the Muslim friends mm. that the Christian friends, but mm. they don't help. Mm. If That's I were true. to listen to them, I would not be where I am today. Mm. Mm. But I should listen to my people in the village. That the equipment that you don't need to go outside, you don't need to mingle people, mm. you don't need to be like this mm. today. Like I'll be a village champion. Mm. Oh yes, <laughs> I'll be a village champion because mm. some of the talk when you listen to them, mm. you feel like you're not respecting them. As a small girl, mm-hmm. all my queen mothers are older than me. I have about mm-hmm. 18 queen mothers under me. Mm-hmm. They are older than me. I see. So at times in a meeting, it's very difficult to make a decision. So I have to find a strategy. Mm. Like tomorrow is the meeting, I have to go to today to the village, mm-hmm. go to them one by one in the house. Mm. This is what I want to do. Mm. This is what I want to do. Mm. If you do it this way, mm. it's better to do this and this. Yeah. Then I have to copy at least 10 from the 17. Mm. So in the meeting tomorrow, they will be raising the issues. Okay. Then wow. they said, okay, fine, then let's agree on this, not me. Yeah. Because it's like I have, uh, it's the pre mother who said we should do this. Mm-hmm. Therefore, it's not me, the backup. Mm. But when I do it, they started that way. Then they said, no, yeah. we said there's yeah. not me. Yeah. So they make a couple find it difficult and say, ah, mm. why this one progressing more than this? Yes. So it became a, a, a lot of challenges that I, at times I think about it and I said, no, I'll not do the work again. Mm. But when I sleep, I said, no, I have to I'll do it. it. The latest one that I want to build a clinic in the community. Mm. We have a, a clinic, but it's not well mm. structured. Yeah. Because if you want to deliver, you have to go to 10 kilometers, 50 kilometers before you go and deliver. Mm. Mm. Started a project, I mm. called them all, we are doing it. Yeah. It came to a point, they said, no, it's a contract that I took mm. for the government. Mm. If I it's my own project. Yeah. That I'm not working as a government person. I'm not working mm. anymore. I have my mm. own production mm. company I'm doing. Mm. Mm. So the small money I have to use for my campaign and mm. everything, mm. I have to use it to invest in that. I see. But they said, no, it's a project I took from the government, so they don't know the work again. Wow. It came to point, I said, no, I'm not going to do it. Mm. No. Because it's like I'm doing some foolish job mm. that I'm not getting any aim for. Mm. But one faithful day when I was going again, I said, no, mm. I must do it. Mm. And then today, I'm proud said that we have finished one session. Okay. The government is using it. Wow. The second side is about to roof now yeah. to the, the IHF again. Mm-hmm. So as a leader, you need to have a, a thinking mind, a strategic mind mm-hmm. to lead your people. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. despite everything mm-hmm. I'm going through, mm-hmm. the insult, the attacks, the mm-hmm. uh, community, some people want to just pull you down mm-hmm. because I'm moving forward. Wow. So let me ask you, what is your secret? 
because you said a whole a, a lot. You know, you were able to convince ten out of seven. I mean, out of seventeen, to be by you, to be with you in terms of decision making, in terms of contribution towards the growth and development of your community. How are you able to do this? What what are the strategies that is used to? I mean, to be able to hold forth and become victorious up to this time. Thank you. Yeah. As a leader, mm. as a every woman, woman be, you need to have a vision and a plan. You should have a vision and, and a plan. plan. I see. If you have a vision, you know where you are going. Okay. Then you plan towards it. Okay. Because the first day they make me a queen mother, I was asking okay. myself, what can I do for my people? Mm. So since that day, I started planning. Mm -hmm. I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do How would I get the place? Mm -hmm. That's the plan we do. Mm -hmm. So if it's a secret per se, I don't have a NS secret per se, but mm -hmm. we have it. Everybody have a different temperament, mm -hmm. different lifestyle, different thing to do. So you are very patient. I'm very patient person. Very, very. Very. And are you sure? Very, very. Wow, <laughs> that is amazing. Very, so very. So it's one of your tools. So my tools. It's one of the, the ways that you, you, what you do to, I mean, bring yes. everybody closer oh, to you. It's one of my two, and I'm very straightforward too. Mm. If A is A is A, mm. this is what I want, this is what I want. So you 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 you, you made mention that you were able, Alavanyos and the Nkunyas were actually in fighting. Yeah, yeah, in a very serious logger yeah. And you were able to, I mean, join the somebody car. from Alavanyos' car. Not from Alavanyos, the person is a, a, a visitor going to Nkunya, and but he lost his way to Alavanyos. So you, you helped him? Yes. And then you, you, you he became you, my friend now, and he's still your friend. Yes, still my friend now. And is there peace between Alavanyos and Nkoyens? Well, for at this now, moment? they said that it's eighty percent peace now. Wow. Because uh, since uh, February to today, there's no mm. shooting incident, mm. there's no killing incident. The place is peace for now. Mm. So there's nothing going on. So home. this is what you came to meet as a queen mother. Yes, the, the, the conference is there for hundred years. It's been there for hundred years. years before I came to that too. Wow. Wow. So what have you done, apart from this very incident, what have you done to ensure peace and stability in, within the community? You know, when there's the, conflict, I mean the two communities. Yeah, when there's yeah. conflict, it's the children and women that suffer most. Mm. So as I started talking about the women and children wow. in the community, that if you are fighting, you are people on this stuff. Mm. If you don't stop your husband, and they keep on doing this, mm. tomorrow, who will suffer? Who will suffer? Yeah. You have more Arabs jobless people and the community will not be poor. Yeah. So we need to talk to our husbands mm. at night, at mm. dawn. We have a workshop. A lot of workshop was going on. Okay. Peace Council was involved. Okay. Uh, 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 Christian body were involved. Mm. Catholic were involved. Okay. Christian were involved for okay. workshop and all those things. Okay. So I think those are the, that effort. Mm. Things are coming down and the prayers wow. coming down. Now. Okay. That's a great effort. And I must say that you should continue. Because without peace, yes, there's no development. I said, Yeah, oh, him, my dear, I see, see, and I saw, say, or I should say, and I would just say, You have you have projects that you've embarked on. If you can tell them about some of the projects that you've embarked on to support your community, yes, thank you please. so much. You're welcome. I, as a queen mother, and then not just a queen mother, the modern one, yes, I have my own website that has been going around with a lot of things that's going on there. Okay. My, I have my objectives. Okay. The main one is health, education. Okay. And then women empowerment. Okay. And then water and sanitation. Oh, okay. Uh, not just Alabanyo, across the whole region. Wow. So I've been doing a lot of things. Wow. Uh, I went to Nkwenda, Lokba, Mbako. Mm. I gave them computers some two years back. Wow. For the educational issues. I Great. went to my own secondary school to give them a cooking materials for the catering department. Wonderful. I lobbied for the classroom block for the secondary school. Wow. And I did the same thing at Nkunya Sai because wow. we are brothers and sisters. Wow. And then currently, I'm building a clinic, a maternity clinic mm. in my hometown because the distance from my hometown to home mm. where I found wow. is far. If somebody's in labor. Wow. So that's what we are doing now. Okay. And now we are at the roofing level now. Why? So wow. by next year, February, I'm going to open it and hand over to the government. Wow. Nana, well done. And I'm building another KG block at a, a town called Abati Mejokwe. Wow. That one I told them if they can do communal labor, I'll support them with the material and they have agreed on it. Wow. I supply the materials, they are working right now at the site. Wow. 
Nana, what did you ma? Mo ni jume di papa, what did boa ala vanyo community a ebi kura ka in kunya. Actually, say ni papa ako. Ti enfo don sna na sunjue mra. So Nana, your final words and your greetings. Yeah, my final word. I want to say the whole world, the listeners, those who are listening to this program, that yes. patience is the key to everything. Mm. Whatever you are going through, God knows why you are going through that. It's leading you to another place. Because I know very well that when I was coming up, people were making a lot of mockery about me that I'm not having a boyfriend. I want to do this, I want to do this. They, they refused me not to do it. God is leading me to a place that's why I was not having the boyfriend. So now I understand why. Mm. Like I have a boyfriend those days, but I said maybe I'll be a mother three, mother four, mother mm. five, mm. and yes. I'll be useless somewhere. Mm. But God was leading me to a place to deliver people. Mm. That yes. is why He's holding me to that, not having the mm. ear for anybody. Wow. God is taking you to something. Mm. That is why things are happening to you that way. Yeah. To know if you can stand the bigger one. Yeah. So in everything, you need patience. We need a heart. Wow. We need to study the situation before we go in. And I'm Monique Kassa. Thank you so much. Do you have anybody to greet your community oh, in your language? Community, yes. In your language. <laughs> oh, they go from all of our traditional council. I want to say a very in the every language. Aye. I will teach you all of our new coming. Pull in your place. Pull again. We don't go now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Especially my male friends in Accra, the Muslims. Good evening to you all. Thank you for helping me to reach this level. Oh, Muslim community. Nana Damase. And the Alabanjo phone Nana says she is very grateful. For your support and i thank you so much and i said that patience is the key to everything if you want to win in life then you must be patient producer J M N M one year more time that you will have in a group for you and that it is not seen in Kabia. I the mama may be at that. Mama, if I not seen so mama, mama, who seen in that? Mama, if I be so mama, so can the Kai International, a Buddhist organization. Omo, I no matter to see me. Mama, you say it is hard. I'm ready to hear no. Me too. Me, I can't stop. They may be a say. I'm so tired. My chef for you now. My dear, me see me in your mouth. I'm coming here then. Mo kame hu de biya man de biya ra. Me da wa se. Emre biya mo kame hu e. Na yen suya di e. Em fri em di foko. Oni ya mambo bra. Na oma femu. Na oma suya di e. Na oma ni yebe che. Me da wa se nyama. Me da wa se nyabdo. Da sene. Tuwa da. Yepe se shia. Me da wa se. Oma bae.